yeah, yeah. T. Higgins proves that staying put at 21 is a really good move. So I think I found it, fellas. Basically, the best beard oil on the market. Now, you know I don't bring a lot of BS to you, man, but this right here is just um, just a look at me using the Fresh Heritage Classic Beard Oil, inspired by ancient African grooming traditions. I mean, the packaging is, you know, it speaks for itself, very professional. Um, you know, I, I didn't really, you know, the standard packaging when you look at it. Then I get to reading more, cruelty-free, vegan-free, paraben-free, gluten-free. I get to scrolling through the ingredients and then I'm starting to look at things. I look at the bottle, you know, then things start getting real from here. I'm like, okay, the bottle is official. You know, this ain't no, this ain't, this ain't no walk in the park. You know what I mean? And then something tell me, you know what, man, you, you know what? I got to open it. I got to open it. You know, so I'm still getting my analyze on. Then I open it. And then the first thing, what we all do, what we all do, what's the first thing we do when we open it? Come on, you guessed it. I smell it. <sighs> And let me tell you, man, it don't smell like your average beard oil. This beard oil has the fragrance of just, just whatever you looking for. As a manly man with a beard, this fragrance, this this scent will be picked up in a room. It's, it's, it's almost like a cologne. And then you apply it, and then you see that it, it's smooth. It glides right through. I mean, I mean, they, they really hit it. They hit one with this one, man. This is going to be my go-to beard oil from now on, from Fresh Heritage. And I'm going to leave the link in the descriptions, and I'm going to show all y'all how you can, you know, acquire this product, where you can acquire it from. I'm going to put you down to the YouTube page. I'm going to put you down to the science because this beard oil is about to change the game for men everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It gets you ready for your day, feeling fresh. You go outside, get some sunlight. And what do you know? You still, this is hours later. You still got a beard that's tango free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Jadeveon Clowney or Byron Jones? Be real. Who, make, who, who makes a better immediate impact for your team as far as free agents are concerned? Be real. Because Derek Barnett, yeah, we yeah we drafted Derek Barnett. But Derek Barnett ain't going to be one of those guys that get a, uh, a contract when his contract is up with the Eagles. I just don't see it happening. Jadeveon Clowney makes an immediate impact. Immediate impact on the Philadelphia Eagles roster. Immediate impact. Byron Jones, I don't think, makes an immediate impact. And that's just the facts. It's a lot. It's a lot of free agents, man. A lot of free agents available, man. Whether where, where, you, you know, I don't understand the need for us to keep. Well, maybe it's really not us speaking Byron Jones' name um, this much. Maybe it's not the organization. I should say. Maybe it's um, you know, maybe it's the fans. Maybe the fans are just blinded by somebody who I, I don't understand what they blinded about. So now all of a sudden, Byron Jones leapfrogs Slayton. A slay, I'm sorry, Darius Slay, leapfrog Slay. Now, all of, now all of a sudden he leapfrogs um, Chris Harris Jr. Now all of a sudden this guy is just the best cornerback since cornerbacks were invented. I don't understand the logic behind it. Now, if you if you want to think about this logically, you gotta look you gotta look at the money that he's asking. What 16 to 18 million? And Amari Cooper asking the same amount impacts the team immediately. If you were to pay Amari Cooper that bread. I don't think Byron Jones impacts the team that much, man, to, to, to be commanding, you know, the type of money. They, they talk about making this dude the highest paid cornerback in the game. I don't really see it. The Philadelphia Eagles shut down all training facilities, all group workouts and stuff like that. That's the, that's a good move. That's 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 what you should do in a time like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people also not taking into account that, you know, that people that do contract viruses and colds like this, it really affects the people who really don't. Who, who, who really not in shape, who really not aware of what they eat all the time. I'm guilty of that sometimes, but I don't go year-long periods of just eating garbage. I don't go month-long periods of just eating garbage. You know what I'm saying? At some point, you got to hold yourself accountable too because I'm hearing reports of people getting over the, getting over this um, coronavirus situation in two or three days. And those people all have one thing in common. You know, they're they're very conscious of physical fitness and, and you know, how to take care of themselves and their health. So, you know what I mean? It's all, you, you, can't, you can't get over no sickness on Burger King. King or Wendy's, man. Let's just call it spade a spade. You got to take care of your system. You got to eat your, your, your berries and stuff like that. You got to do the things you can do to boost your immune system in times like this.
A strong immune system is going to help you fight it. Now, doctors could give you stuff to fight the infection. Yeah, but your immune system still going to have to battle off the virus regardless. So you want to boost your immune system. Make sure you vitamin C. Make sure you're doing stuff like that, man, to take care of yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Philadelphia Eagles, you, you know, they got to look at everybody on this free agency list, man. It's a long long list of just notable free agents man i'm gonna pop it up right here it's a long long list of them and 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 this list of free agents need they deserve a look they deserve a look you know what i mean everything in about byron jones man there's so many people that will benefit this team emmanuel sanders um it's some it's some dominant left guards out there you you know i think we need a left guard you know what i mean it's, it's a lot of stuff that'll help you know help boost the credibility of our team and make an immediate impact an immediate impact have we thought about have we we're, we're not we're so we're, we're so in tune with fantasizing about byron jones right now have we even thought about jordan howard yeah miles sanders had a breakout but 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 my but miles sanders going to need somebody to help shoulder the load we want to put all this on miles sanders when it all had to be on miles sanders what happened end up tweaking his ankle you need another running back that's going to be willing to share it boston scott a little too small you need a power back so I'm not, I'm, I, th I, th I think Kenyon Drake is available. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's a lot of people in free agency that's available, man. The coaching staff that the Philadelphia Eagles brought, brought in so far with Marty and um and Moorhead and all of those guys, man, that's a championship caliber coaching staff, in my opinion. In my opinion, they put some pieces together and, and they look like a team that want to compete for a championship as far as coaching staff goes. Now you got to bring in the right personnel. Byron Jones, $18 million a year, it's, it's a no for me. It's a no for me when you can do so many other things. Now, the draft is coming up. The Philadelphia Eagles also have the chance and opportunity to stay at 21, especially based off what T. Higgins did at his pro day. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the, uh, the wide receiver position is going to be there at 21. It's going to be, and it, and, it, and it won't be settling. Justin Jefferson, it won't be settling. The Jerry Judys, the Henry Ruggs, and the CeeDee Limbs may be too hard to get, but the Chris Mims, the Justin Jeffersons, the uh, T. Higgins, you know what I mean? The Jalen Ragars, man. It's a lot of people that's still going to be be there. K.J. Hamler, K.J. Hill, Van Jefferson, who, who, who possibly could slip down. Michael Pittman, one of the best college seasons last year. Nobody talking about guys like that, man. Everybody zeroing on these three guys. At 21, the Philadelphia Eagles will have opportunity to fix what's wrong with the wide receiver position. I'm confident in it, man. You know what I'm saying? So all this trading picks and doing all that, you don't need to do it. When you can simply stick your foot in the ground and say, who's the best available player for our needs at 21? And I believe the Philadelphia Eagles will be able to get this done in a timely manner. I believe the Philadelphia Eagles are on the right path, man. Let me know what you think in the comments.